Hello, I'm Mary Gordon from Roots of Empathy, and I'm happy to be speaking with you today about children's friendships. They are central to children's lives, and they are the source of great pleasure or potentially great pain. They are key in developmental tasks that are expected to happen in childhood and in adolescence. And I think there are many things that children learn through their friendships, apart from having fun, which is a key thing. They learn about how to be in a relationship. And although family is the core and the anchor for everything in a child's life, there are certain things from home that we cannot do for our children. And one of them is the gains that they will have by making a friend or many friends and helping them understand how to weather the storm of losing friends because friendships are voluntary and reciprocal. And unlike family relationships, which last forever and are so important, it's equally important that we nurture from the family the development of these relationships. Sometimes parents feel helpless when their children are having trouble with a relationship. And that would be a good time to speak to the classroom teacher because the classroom teacher sees your child in the context of all the relationship with the classroom. And if you have a more cautious, shy child, the child probably won't be saying that they would like some support with making a friend or understand why they've lost a friend. And friendships do shift naturally in childhood, but the teacher can be a very big ally. For your child to learn well in school, they must feel well. And friendships have everything to do with well-being and mental health later on in life. Not controlling friendships, but supporting them. Being open to talk to your child about who their friends are and how they're feeling about the friendships and to see the teacher as an ally. They're experts in the field of children. So they might not know that your little person here wants a little bit of help. So enjoy those friendships. Children have mourned the loss of friendships over the pandemic and friendships really help nurture empathy because you understand how your friend feels. There's an intimacy of connection of shared feelings and thinking. So I think it's, a, it's an incredible time we are in right now where we need to recognize the importance of reading facial cues, reading body cues, listening to the words that people are saying, and really focusing on the importance of all of the relationships in life, and maybe a little extra focus at this time of year on friendships.